Welcome to Co-op Kennels, another dog food review. Today we have Diamond Puppy Food. Nursing and pregnant and nursing dogs. For puppies, nursing and pregnant dogs. So actually I have a pregnant dog, I have a nursing dog, and I have puppies. Right now I'm not really feeding my nursing dog because I'm trying to have her, you know, stop the milk so that she can stop weaning these puppies. I want her to stop weaning them early because they're like really damaging her body with their nails. So one way you can have a dog stop nursing early is to not feed her an excess amount of food and then her body will slowly stop producing milk. Um, some will do it on its own early, but basically if you feed the dog a lot of food, she's going to keep producing milk. And if she keep producing milk, you got to have the puppies keep sucking the milk. So it's like a balancing act. Um, what I want to do is just basically have her not produce as much milk. So you can cut their food back or change their food feeding schedule because that'll stop them from producing milk because you want them to stop producing milk because the puppies may be chewing, biting, scratching, and just causing a lot of damage. Um, the puppies can eat puppy food, so they're pretty much okay. They don't really need to be feeding up their mother. So without any further ado, we're getting to this review. This bag is 40 pounds. It costs $40. So as you know, I want to feed Victor, but Victor is actually $53 and 40 pounds. So that's a $13 difference. $13 isn't that much of a difference, but then when you put tax on it, it makes about $15. Um, so basically if you buy two bags, you could almost, you know, every two bags of this, you know, you're saving $30, you know, potentially you can buy dewormer and buy other things you need for the dogs. Also, you know, basically you want to try to do things that can save you money on the long end but also are more nutritious. So let's get into this. So the ingredients are similar to the other ingredients from the diamond food, uh, diamond high energy food. I believe that this food, let's just like do this backwards. This food has, uh, let's see. Mm, uh, fuck, no, this, this food has 441 calories. Jeez. Hold on, this might be the superfood. That is a lot of calories. And basically the omega-3s and 6s, they add up to a total score of 48, which is like a 4. And then the other one was 4.5. So I'm saying this is really close. And this is way more calories. So in reality, I could probably feed this to my dog instead of the high energy and have a higher protein and feed less food with even more calories and let's just get into it yeah so right here you have ingredients you have chicken byproduct meal which is basically ground chicken left over and processed it's very high in uh protein why Whole grain corn, dogs need grains. Some dogs are allergic to corn. Some dogs are allergic to wheat, so I've heard. Um, some dogs are allergic to chicken, so I've heard. But basically, if you feed your dog something like this early, their bodies become accustomed to it. This is my personal experience, not my personal knowledge. So dogs, dogs really adapt to what you feed them. So if you feed them this early on in life, then it won't become a problem if you send the dog somewhere else and they decide to give it to them. Um, also, you have chicken fat preserved with turco ferals. I don't know if that's good. I don't really know what turco ferals are. Um, dried bee pulp, egg product, natural chicken flavor, which is just chicken something. Who knows what that is, really? Flaxseed, which is uh, gives it that omega thing. Omega six or three or one of them. Fish meal. And then the salmon oil. A source of DHA, di dihuxaline, whatever. The DHA helps forms joints and bones developments. So in reality, this will be good for my mastiffs as well, because DHA is actually a supplement that I can give them 
but if I get it from here, it's a lot easier for me because the supplement costs more money. Then you gotta break it out and give it to all the dogs when you can just have it in the food and just straight give it to them. So this dog, this might be, you know, I might be on the verge of feeding because I, I personally will feed adults puppy food. Um, the only thing I know about that is basically is something about the calcium levels. Uh, and I really don't see the calcium level in here. And maybe it's in here. Uh, hey, it doesn't actually say how much calcium is in here. I really don't care because the dogs can eat straight bones. So if they digest in straight bones, then I'm not really worried about no calcium. So let's read this one thing. It says, the nutrients your puppies receives in the first year can influence overall health. Later in life, diamond puppies formulated, prestigiously formulated to meet the special needs of rapid growth puppies enhanced with DHA for proper brain vision development. This formula is also formulated with omega fatty acids, oxidations, and proper levels of protein and fats to help your puppy grow stronger. So the way that this puppy food right here differs from the high energy is basically it has even more energy. Um, 441 calories per cup, which is almost 500 calories a cup. So if you're an adult dog, would we'll only probably need two cups of this, three cups to bring that dog up to 1500 calories in a day. I'm not sure how many calories a dog needs or if this even stands for the word calories, but I call it calories just to make things simple. Um, so, you know, basically the difference is, is this has fish meal and salmon oil. So basically they're boosting the, the DHA, maybe the fish meal lacks the DHA and, but has the omega in it. And then also this has egg products. And then this does not have any, any, um, what is it called? This does not have any corn gluten in it or rice bran. So it's like less on the grain and more, you know, a little bit more with the meat because you have the egg product. Um, and then you have the egg product, chicken and egg product and fish meal. So, you know, I don't know. You got to think that this gives you 40 pounds. The other ones are 50 pounds. So maybe you just give, buy two bags of the other. It depends on how many dogs you have. You buy one and one and just kind of mix it down. So that way, you know, you're increasing the protein level because this is 31% protein, very high protein. And I'm believing that this protein source is just coming from animals because I don't see any gluten meals in here, you know? Um, so with that being said, this seems like a good food. The only thing I can say, uh, when you compare it to the other diamond, the higher energy, you know, one, this is not for adult dogs. So if you guys are really particular about what you give your dogs, you might not want to give this to your dogs because it has a higher calcium level but i don't really care about that um but then also you know you're losing out on 10 pounds of food now that 10 pounds of food equates to more cleanup so in reality you know you can use this you know and have less of a cleanup and feed less but then you're going to have to really be stern and strong and make sure you don't overfeed your dogs because I can see that my dogs are getting really fat. Now that I've been giving them this type of food, they've really, really been putting on size and fat. But, you know, it's kind of good because they're thick and healthy and it's winter time. The poo is extra clean up. So what I did is got some wood chips to kind of go and help clean up that poo. Basically, you got to do what you got to do in order to feed your dogs. So definitely buying a lot of dog food, as you can see. I got a lot of dog food, you know, so I don't have to worry about running back and forth to the store. 
if I'm guessing, I think I probably got a good, this might be three weeks of food for me right now. You know what I'm saying? And it's a little hack, dog food hack. I'm not gonna give y'all the secret of the dog food hack. I'm gonna let y'all go in and try to find the dog food hack. It's really like three or four, three more than one ways to have a, a dog food hack. Multiple ways to get them. But you know, if you're in this business, you definitely need to be thinking about how you can save money here and there because people don't like to pay at a good price for a puppy. So you feed in your dogs all this quality foods and taking care of your dogs and your puppies and everything. And then you're trying to just at least get your money back or get enough money to, you know, have something to invest in the product. People are going to want to nickel and dime you and make sure that you don't make a dime off your puppies. So, and then you have a lot of these breeders out here that are just doing a lot of backyard stuff and selling dogs for so cheap that you really got to compete with them. <clears throat> But you don't really have to compete with them, but they're basically setting a precedent. If someone's in the market, they could always find something cheaper, you know. And even, you know, the people that put a lot into their program, basically, um, you know, it becomes like a, a thing where you have low ballers. But, you know, what I'll say is that's why you have to be very crafty and very innovative and coming up with ways to get food, supplies for cheap or for trade or however you can do it. That way, when it's time to negotiate prices for pups or whatever, you know, you can sell a dog and you can still, you know, have enough money on the table to at least maintain your kennel. Because at the end of the day, the bare minimum thing you want to do is be working on having a great program and progressing with your facilities as you can see as you can see progress with your facilities and your quality of your productions get back and look how fat this dog is you know what i'm saying this is a, a nine month old dog well no ten. i think she's about 10. should be one sit sit she'll be one uh -uh, get back She'll be one and uh get in here. Sit. She'll be one in December the 20th. So she's 10 months. And by golly, is she thick. Look, you can look at her walk. You ain't gotta believe me. She thick. And we ain't even been trying. So just imagine how thick this little girl is gonna be. So like I said, you know, our productions are getting better. You know, aside from the dog food, but just to kind of show you like how they look off of, you know, the dog food that I've been feeding them. Now I know you probably think, well, how can I get my dog to look like that? You gotta have a dog like this. This is a thick little dog. And the funny thing is, which I don't know, is this dog get thick at about one years old. So when this dog turns one is when it starts getting thick. Well, the dog ain't one and it's already thick. So that should tell you something. She's a thick little snout. She's almost as thick as her father, Debo. She's only, she's not even one yet, 10 months. So she has the potential to become twice as wide as she is right now. Shoulders popping out with muscles. And her name is Trouble and she doesn't really like take kindly to strangers. Camelot blood, chocolate coloring. Thick little dog, thick, but you there. So that's just to show you how the dogs keep the health up of the dogs and the foods I'm feeding them. Just to show you that what I'm doing works. Get in that cage. Come on. Get in there. She doesn't really like it in there. But she got to learn to be wherever she's getting put. And let's see. Let me show you what this guy's looking like. See how thick he's in guy. Come here, boy. Boy, is thick, right? My gully side kennel dog. My bossy bloodline dog. Like I said, you know, to add with it, if you guys... <laughs> if you 
guys want, you know, some bossy blood, and you don't want to pay an astronomical amount, come on over. I got you. You know, don't be afraid. As you can see, this guy is thick. He came in at 70. I don't know how much he weighs right now, but he won't stop eating. When you touch him, he's like a brick. Look, listen. He's like a brick. He's like a little brick. And he's getting bigger and bigger by the day. Not sure how big he is right now. He's acting like he's looking for food, but the last thing he needs is something to eat. Just going to show you how thick these dogs are getting. And I'll show you the other guy. Show you how thick they get. Sit, boy. Sit. These boys are big. Just to show you kind of how, you know, I know a little bit of something about nutrition. Healthy dogs. Head on there is enormous. He's about to hit two years old. Coats are shiny. I don't brush these dogs. They don't really get that many bags. Only bathing when they're really stinking at this point. So this is, you know. But as you can see, I'm showing you what the dog food does. <laughs> this guy right here. He's a weird dog. He's always barking. He's noisy. And annoying, but I, he's like basically a rescue because I got him at six. ABKC registered. He's a good boy. He's really, really starting to put weight on. I don't know. If he gets to 90 pounds, he ain't going nowhere. You know, we love big dogs over here at the camp, man. I ain't gonna lie.